On December 20th, the Polish Minister of Culture and National Heritage Bartłomiej Sienkiewicz replaced the president of public media and then turned off the signal of TVP Info. The prosecutor's office has opened an investigation into Colonel Sienkiewicz's questionable actions. Donald Tusk already announced a takeover of public media during the campaign. We have a very precise procedure prepared. After we win the elections and after the government is formed, no law will have to be changed. I will not have to wait for any signature from President Duda. Overnight, you will get the public media back. Donald Tusk designated Bartłomiej Sienkiewicz, a lieutenant colonel of the State Protection Office, who is head of the Interior Ministry in his previous government, to fulfill the new government's planned actions on Poland's public media. I am sure that Mr. Bartłomiej Sienkiewicz, not only by virtue of the fact that he is both an author of books and is a man of culture, but also has experience when it comes to decisions of the toughest kind. And well, you know that there is no better man to sort out the situation, among other things, in the sphere of public media, the public media that you have destroyed. He will be responsible for restoring these media to the Polish people. Late in the evening of December 19th, the Polish Sejm passed a resolution under which the takeover of public media began. 344 deputies voted, 244 in favor, 84 against, 16 deputies abstained. I note that the Sejm has passed a resolution on the restoration of legal order and the impartiality and integrity of the public media and the Polish press agency. The presidents of Polish television, TVP and Polish radio are chosen by the National Media Council, according to the law. Minister Sienkiewicz, disregarding this particular law, dismissed them the morning of December 20th. Moments later, at 11.18 a.m., the TVP Info signal was turned off. Piotr Zemla entered the office of TVP president Mateusz Matyszkowicz, accompanied by strong men. The man began claiming to be a member of the new supervisory board of Polish television. It came to a scuffle, and as a result, MP Joanna Borowiak, who was conducting an MP intervention, was hurt. <laughs> The strong men also entered the Polish press agency building. Inside were united right parliamentarians who thwarted the forceful takeover of the Polish press agency. To jest człowiek, który naruszył nietykalność posła na Sejm. When a forceful attempt to take over public media failed, Minister Sienkiewicz launched Plan B. He decided to liquidate Polish television, TVP, Polish radio, and the Polish press agency. According to law and justice politicians, these are merely sham steps to fire existing journalists. If such measures have been taken, it is apparent that they are of a sham nature. This is evidenced by Mr. Majer's statements that these actions are only for the purpose of taking over over the public media, seizing power over the public media, and sham actions are subject to criminal sanction. Daniel Gorgos is responsible for the liquidation of Polish television. As the portal Wypolityce.pl has established, the man is involved in a million złoty scam at a hospital in Rypin. In February 2021, the Rypin District Prosecutor's Office handed over to the District Court in Wrocławek an indictment in the case. In addition, Daniel Gorgos on December 23rd of this year attacked MP Sebastian Kaleta when he was conducting an MP intervention in the television news agency. After a notice filed by law and justice MPs, the district prosecutor's office in Warsaw opened an investigation into the unlawful dismissal of public media presidents and an attack on MP Jan Naborowiak.
First of all, we need to gather this evidence, secure evidence from the very premises of these institutions, the events that took place there, and secure documentation that will allow us to assess whether there was a possible overstepping of authority. All indications are that public media is just the beginning when it comes to the takeover of state institutions. Donald Tusk in the election campaign also talked about strong people who will take out the president of the National Bank of Poland, Adam Glapinski, and the president of the Constitutional Tribunal, Yulia Przyłębska. The parliamentary intervention of united right politicians in the television news agency continues. In parallel, demonstrations in defense of freedom of speech are taking place all across Poland.